Okay, so she's gone. Yay! And what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I do not fucking remember. It's been a while since I played this last. Uh, no. No. Also, stuff like that happens. It's called, They're called horrors. Uh, I've unlocked them all. I'm going to try and get them all. Uh, there's another horror in here. But I don't know how the fuck you trigger it. Like... If you walk down this middle aisle, sometimes it'll happen, sometimes it won't. You're supposed to see the little girl again. Oh, fuck it. Anyway. Uh, come over here to the cash register. Cash register's been left open. Yes. Take the money. It looks like there are only a few corners left in the cash register. Yeah, go on. Come on. I'll take that. I wasn't expecting you to fucking leave it there. Thank you, I guess. Oh, fuck no. I need to stop clicking out of the fucking window. Nope. Wait, no. Come here. I wonder if I need to investigate one of these first. A lot of items... Are missing people are ta are people taking them? Apparently, I can't fucking reach for shit. So yeah, fuck you. Seriously, how the fuck do I activate this horror? I know it's supposed to happen. Some snacks are on display. Uh, they even have my favorite pretzels. Oh, wow. Never had pretzels myself. So, oh. Nothing stocked here appears to be of any use. How the fuck would a snack be of any use to you against a monster anyway? Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll come back down here anyway at some point. I need to go this way anyway. Where the fuck did all this blood come from? Like, the Sister Walker only appeared. And all this fucking blood is just like... Like, a fucking woman had her period, and it was really fucking heavy. And she just ran down the hallway. The fixed camera angles... Um, this game has it. And sometimes it's really annoying, because... The characters move on a set path. Like, a track. And... You do have some free reign. Because you can click around and stuff. But whenever the camera changes, sometimes it's really difficult to navigate things. Like... Uh, whenever there's a different corridor. Anyway, we used the four quarters on this vending machine. By the way, if it wasn't apparent, I am going for the best ending. So if you want the best ending, do what I do. A severed hand. It has a wedding ring. I am found. Wedding ring. We need this wedding ring. It is important. Alright, come down here. Uh, the wedding ring is optional. Uh, um, a lot of things are actually optional. Uh, for the endings. Okay, fuck up music. Although, this is required for Monica to progress. His smartphone is poking out of his pocket. Maybe he was trying to call for help. And we examine again to take his smartphone. Ugh, slimy. It won't turn on. It seems to be out of battery. We take a smartphone with the battery that is dead. Okay, now we need to go find a charger. Which is in pretty much all of the rooms. Like, any room except from one, which is really dark, so, yeah. Come down either side of the hallway and you will find the doors, doors to cabins. 
They will have red lights, and the ones that you can get into will have green lights. Uh, this is the only cabin down here that you cannot go into right now because it is dark as fuck. So come in here, or any other fucking room except from the dark one. Uh, take out the smartphone. And put it in the charger. She walked into the fucking wall. <laughs> of course, I can charge that phone. These are also save points. Whenever you charge a phone, it's a save point. So make sure you know where chargers are in each chapter. Thank goodness, now I can use this phone. Okay, take it out of the fucking thing. The name John Thompson is displayed on the startup screen. Okay, take the fucking phone. I don't need to hear your life story. Got an eye on the smartphone. Save. You can save your game when you need by charging smartphone. Smartphone light. In dark places, you will need to shine your light in order to find the click point. And I'll go and investigate that dark room now. I'll wait before I do. Uh, smartphone. Hey, look, I'm playing this at two o two at night. Um, SNS. Uh, this is optional. Uh, to get the best ending or any other ending to like progress in the game, you need to do this. If you're trying to get all of the endings, this is something that you don't do. Because this will lead to one of the bad endings. Okay. Well, it will lead to the bad ending if you don't do it. Anyway. Come in here. This is Monica's room. Uh, you can't hide in the closet. But there is an evasion point. Which is... This pepper spray. A spray can purchased from before the cruise is on the table. Oh yeah, I forgot I bought this can of pepper spray. Would it work on the monster? If we go further into the room... Telephone will ring. Hello? Monica? Is that you, Monica? No, it's Jessica? Ask it for a haircut. It's okay. <coughs> I've seen it too. You have to keep calm. Where are you now? Can you get help? I'm on the floor where we got separated. There's no way out of here. I couldn't get through to anyone until I tried calling the number for your room. Great A acting. Nice. Not. Listen, we need to stay together. I'm coming up to your floor now. No, you're not. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting by the front desk. Okay. Uh-huh, it's gonna take a while for us to get up to that fucking floor. Because we have a lot of shit to do. I'm gonna walk, because... This game, um, unlike Haunting Ground, um, the Scissor Walker won't appear randomly. Uh, she only appears in scripted events, so you're fucking fine to explore at your own pace. Uh, I'm not going to check out anything that's... Actually, I might check out some things that are unnecessary. Just like to show you where Scissor Walker appears and things. And also like many hiding spots. Like, I've played this game so fucking much, I know it like the back of my hand. Uh, let's go ahead and examine this first. One of the fuses is broken. Maybe I can get the elevator moving by replacing this fuse. We don't have a fuse. Okay, so if we move up the corridor just a little bit to where the camera angle changes. The phone will start ringing, and we answer it. 
Hello, John, it's Angie. Are you okay? Everyone is making a fuss here because the elevator stopped working. Um, hello? Who's this? Where's John? Uh, I, I picked up his phone. I thought to take it to the front desk, but the elevator isn't working. I see. Thanks for picking it up. That's my husband John's smartphone. Is he on your floor? Um, I'm not sure. That's okay, dear. You wouldn't recognize him anyway. We can meet up in the front de at the front desk once the elevator is fixed. Yeah, I checked it out. It looks like uh, one of the fuses is blown. Well, he could easily fix that with the tools he carries around with him. John's an electrician, so he always has his tools in his suitcase. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what he looks like, so please find him and ask him to fix it. It will probably be faster than waiting for the crew. Right, I'll do that. I am fucking shit at voice acting for, like, for many fucking reasons. <laughs> uh, so yeah, don't fucking expect me to be voice acting greatly with this game.